Guys, we're going fishing. We did not sleep long enough last night. I don't think any of us did. But I don't know what got into me before we came. I was like, called the charter. He's like, hey, you got an opening this week? He's like, Wednesday, book it. <laughs> so we're going fishing. Maybe we'll pass right through it again. Give us the food. Inside, they're out there, boys. I'm staring right at it. All right, guys. So we mentioned that Nick's got an axis deer here at his at his farm. This is Cody. Say what's up to Cody. The coolest axis deer ever. Super chill right now. It's funny because when I came in here in January, I don't know why, but right after he shed his antlers, he's kind of honorary. Um, but they've had him for years, and he's kind of—he's like 10 or 11, I think. Nick said his antlers are kind of regressing, going downhill, but they're heavy. And then if you look over here, you, you've got his tortoise buddy, their best friend. Either Nick or someone in his family found that crossing the road, which somebody probably just let it loose or it got loose. So the tortoise and Cody just hang out here. <laughs> They're a pretty popular attraction on this road. People will stop and take pictures of them, but I don't know, it's super cool to get that close to an axis deer. Tonight's gonna be all, we're gonna put all our efforts into archery hunting. Nick knows this area really, really well. He's already got some deer spotted, but we're up on this high point, which is super cool because we can see the valley below us, the ocean, and uh, there's gonna be a, a good number of deer in here. We're just gonna try to find like a, a good scenario where a buck is at, where we could probably put the sneaks off. We're gonna start out high. I'm gonna get the spotting scope and the phone scope. Nick's gonna uh, kind of guide us over here and like sneak over the top of this so we can glass down all these little cactus like cuts and stuff. It's really cool country, so yeah, let's do it. We've already got a group of axis deer down here and there's like three nice velvet bucks. To this gulch so we're gonna sneak over here and post up and get some phone scope footage of them but it's so cool man this this country is so pretty it's green right now there's a lot of open pasture and then there's just these big steep like rocky calm gulches out here and that's where the deer kind of navigate through but they come out and feed they come out and feed on this grassy tops but yeah let's go get the phone scope on these guys we are up on this hill and uh, just like Nick thought there's some bucks down below us I thought they were coming out but the bucks are actually going into this gulch so I've got the phone scope and Matt has the long lens we're getting some really cool footage of them there's some nice bucks in there most of them are still in velvet but with a bow I'm definitely not gonna be picky <laughs> at all so there's a lot of country for us to glass but this is the first group of bucks we've seen and over here to the west we've got a nice buck who is either alone or he's got some other deer bedded by him that we can't see but the wind is really good for him too so 
we're just trying to be patient pick our pick our first play and, and go slow but this is pretty cool because these deer they're just so pretty I've got a bunch right here on the phone scope still there. Range him right here. Get up here. He's 71 to 75. Or he's 65.
Well, that was kind of crazy how perfect that worked. We had some does come up the bottom, right through where this buck and another buck were bedded. And the, the freak one with the one antler stood up and gave me a nice shot at um, 55 antlers, or <laughs> 55 yards. And I hit him, it's a little back, but he came up to 67 yards and I had it, I was gonna try to shoot him again, but I had a buck right in front of him and he bedded. He's only went like 15 yards. So there's a good chance he goes over there and lays down and die, he might just need some time, but Nick is gonna go up the gulch a little bit and let me know if he has a clear shot on him. That way if I can, I'll go up and try to finish him, but he's over there, he's sick. Well, Nick went up the gulch and he's got him at 64 yards, so we're gonna sneak up here. And if he's not dead by the time I get up there, I'll try to shoot him again. He's bad at 64, he has one shot right at the shoulder. much longer but we got a 60 yard shot right in him right here <laughs> first axis buck in hawaii with a bow on the first stop dude nice work man <laughs> he's just like a freak dude he's got his club look at where these deer live there's like rock ledges with shade. All these bucks came off right where we just came down. The trails are just dusty powder. And the big bucks were just kind of bedded in this like weeds. It's getting some shade. Uh, my buck's just right here on the sunny side. These are my follow-up shots. I don't think he would have left his bed anyways, but that put him down quicker, so happy to do that. But look at his antlers. He's got like a drop time club on that side. But... Oh man. That's cool. Dang. Dude, what a unique buck. Not a bad, like one side. Huh? No, no. Like Not at all. 30. Right I mean, there. 30 inch, or that's a sweet buck. He's just obviously got either an injury, maybe on his body somewhere, or maybe just an injury to the antler. But big old eye garden and that drop time. But this is the buck that we spotted up high. So that's pretty cool, man, when you get to spot him, kind of bed him. I shot from this little nook. Right up here, 55 yards, the first shot, and then 60 straight across. But we still have plenty of daylight, so we're not going to do a whole lot here, but we're going to drag him up. We're going to open him up, get his guts out, let him cool down. There's a nice breeze through this gulch, and uh, Nick's going to go bow hunt. I love freaks. I don't know how I've been so lucky to shoot so many elk with, like, random sides, clubs, big weird points. And now my first archery axis buck is a freak. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. We're going to take care of him. We're just going to kind of drag him over to the shade, get some photos. But, guys, this is a uh, bow hunting in Hawaii. Unreal. Like, this terrain is like Narnia. Big trees, <laughs> canopy, vines coming off the cliffs. And uh, we walked these bottoms in January. None of these weeds were here. Now it's just super overgrown. Yeah. Not bad shots for bedded. Hang <laughs> okay, in there. It was fun, man. It was cool. Good job, Matt, on the camera getting the shots. Good job, Nick. Back straps tonight. Maybe tomorrow night we're going to have a big barbecue. Yeah. Maybe get some of Nick's friends and family one of these days and share the wealth, man, because this axis deer meat is good. Next turn. Let's go. 
I'm gonna pack my bow just in case. Just in case he needs help. Get you all the small ones I pass up. Yeah, earlier when we were up high glassing, we saw a really nice buck in this cactus patch. But Nick's been watching a real, like a 33 inch buck in this zone, so we're just gonna start sneaking around, hiking around. You guys have probably noticed my boots by now. Fifteen dollars at the local feedlot. I forgot my boots. So it was either sneakers or fifteen bucks for these. And some of these days the, the early morning dew is really wet. But today I wish I'd had my sneakers on. But if you're wondering why I'm wearing muck boots, that's why. Not muck boots, like rain boots. lay down but <laughs> clearly he laid down right where we last saw him and we were just didn't think he was here so we we're gonna go up on the next knob and we jumped him got a group of axes deer right past this big tree most of them are bedded but there's a lot of deer down here it's just hard to see with these tall weeds if we can get to this tree, just beyond the tree, there's a whole bunch of them. That was going really good until a doe blew right behind us. Got these bucks on high alert. There wasn't really any big ones. We wanted to get closer just to make sure and they jumped up at like 45, 50 yards. But this doe behind us was just barking. <laughs> it's one of the biggest problems is there's always more eyeballs and noses than you are aware of typically. There's always usually something in between. That was a fun stalk. We saw some pigs. We saw a bunch of velvet bucks. I was really hoping that most of the bucks were hard antler, but a lot of the bucks are still velvet, so that's about it for tonight. I think we'll go back and take care of my buck and uh, get some dinner. We're gonna be uh, headed tomorrow to hunt for goats, like feral goats or wild goats, whatever you wanna call them. So make sure you come back and watch tomorrow's video, but we're probably gonna wrap up tonight's video. That was fun, man. You guys got to see rifle hunt. Dude, this buck has the look. And a bow hunt. Two separate days, two bucks. Rifle versus bow. Which one would you guys do if you had the chance to come and hunt? Would you like to shoot one with a rifle or a bow? Let us know in the comment section. Again, huge thanks to Nick for having us out here. It's been a blast so far, and we're only on day two. See you guys on tomorrow's video.